So being on a wheelchair should not be a limitation. And being here, we want to change that attitude and to say that uh, uh, once we change that attitude, we'll be able to move forward. And we also want to say that with the change of our constitution now, we want to assure all persons with disabilities as government that it is required of us as national government or as county governments to ensure that you have your rightful place at the table of devolution. And as the Minister for Devolution, I want to assure you that I will fight day and night, as long as I'm at this ministry, to ensure you have that space. <laughs> and that is why I have proposed to the Council of Governors, and I believe uh, Governor Kuti and Governor Nanok, the chair, and all governors will be here tomorrow, will be urging you that just the way we made the fifth devolution conference about the youth, and for the first time we brought the youth at the center of the devolution uh, discourse. We sponsored 300 youths to uh, the Kakamega conference uh, through my ministry, and uh, we have said since then we must mainstream uh, youth issues in all our developmental issues, in all our devolution discourse. They must be at the center, not on the periphery. I am proposing, and I hope with the concurrence of the governors, that the next devolution conference, which will be the sixth devolution conference, that we ensure that persons with disabilities are removed from the periphery to the center the way we did for our youth. <laughs> and we will be proposing that the next devolution conference should be about devolution and disabilities, the issues we are going to discuss here today, and the Isiolo Declaration 2018, I'm hoping, will capture this as one of their solutions to go to the Council of Governors for consideration. I'll be very, very pleased, Governor Kuti. And uh, once more, I want to assure you, just the way my ministry sponsored uh, a youth from each constituency, we intend to sponsor one person with disability from each constituency, 300 of them, to attend the next devolution conference once we are able to agree with the uh, Council of Governors so that you can be at the table and your voice can be heard. I also want to challenge you because the Constitution is very clear. Under Article 54, and I want to assure you that uh, uh, the inherent dignity in every human being, according to Article 54, must be respected.